Good morning, everyone. I'm not Latino, but I'm Latin. <laughs> French, is, French is Latin. <laughs> so today I'll talk about education. But uh, in fact, when we look at uh, uh, the key challenges in the world that the humanity is facing, there are a lot. Food supply, energy, uh, global health. But I think the most important is upgraded education. Because with, with no education, we cannot provide the right solutions and weapons in order to fight the other challenges. So this is absolutely critical. But what's the situation? Is education changes changing fast enough in this world? When we compare to uh, the pace of engineering in 30 years, it is not. You know, engineering in 30 years, it, there is a totally new world of engineering. Not only this guy. You know who is this guy? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so not only engineering is changing, but me, I'm changing as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, manufacturing as well. Look at the evolution of manufacturing since uh, one century. Huge evolution. Now we have assembly lines, totally robotized, and everything. This is now on the right, and this is one century ago. But you see on the right that what we are capable to do, virtually designing, simulating, manufacturing, maintaining any kind of product in the world using the power of 3D and the power of the computer. Now, what about the education system? You know, education is still working very traditionally. And this is a problem, working in silos, class of mathematics, class of physics, class of this. And I think this is, a, this, is a, this is a pity. And I think this is an unwanted call for all the communities of people. What are you facing now? The lack of engineering talents is becoming a key issue. Do you know that the world is providing basically two million engineer or engineering skills per year, and they need three? I heard that President Clinton said that uh, in the US, you provide 40,000 per year, and you need 120,000. The biggest countries in the world, the biggest industrial countries in the world, like the US, are in deficit of talent. Germany provides 40,000, they need 80,000. So it's a 9-1 call in order to completely change the education system. And this is, to be honest with you, one of the reasons why we need everyone. And it is one of the reasons also why we are investing in this community because we know that we will need more and more, everyone, in order to prepare the future generation. And also, the aging population. The baby boomer will go and retire. I am a baby boomer. You know, the average age of uh, engineers in many big industrial companies in the US is nearly 60. They will go to retire now. How do we replace those talents? So the deficit of talents and engineers that we have now will be even growing if we don't react. This is really a 911 call. Education is not changing fast enough. Well, fortunately, there are some good news. It's not only bad news. There are some good news because the world is reacting. There are many, many what we call STEM uh, initiatives, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. One of them is what the one we have with Boyle Hayes here where we provide you know, uh, engineering solutions in order to uh, prepare the future generations. This is going in the right direction. It's not enough, but it is going in the right direction. So the key that we have to do is to give to young boys and girls the test of science, the appetite of science. In many countries of this world, and I go in many countries of this world, the, the education system is still in the same situation. Because the young boys and girls, they want to do anything except science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. So we have to change that. And it starts in secondary schools. You know system engineering is something that is normally reserved to high-level top engineers in companies. Well, do you know that boys and girls of 13 years old are capable to use those technologies in order to get prepared? And all this is about trying to fill the deficit of engineers, make, make the education system in the world move, and then you understand why I'm here and why we are here. 
because the immigrants, the Latino immigrants, and in Boyle Heights, this is the one example of, uh, of the, uh, this situation, is a huge pipeline of skills that the world desperately needs. We need to make the new generation access to those new technologies, like 3D printing, the biggest industry in this world, like the Boeing, the Airbus, and all those companies. They are using 3D printing in order to, to, to print specific parts. In the life science industry, it's the same. You know, transplants will be made and are currently made using 3D printing. So we have to expose, and in Boyle Heights, you will have this kind of technology available. So this is why we are here. And I hope that we will be teaming very, very uh, strongly together in order to, to, to show, to have a showcase of all what should be education for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.